In this video, we're going to continue looking at chapter three related questions involving compounds and the mole on practice exam 1.2 in the fall 22 semester. So question 12 here tells us that we have a compound with the empirical formula N2OX and that it contains 30.45% nitrogen by mass. And that formula actually could be an empirical or molecular formula. What we want to know is the value of X and we want to enter our response as a whole number, of course, because this is going to be a stoichiometric um, number of oxygen atoms within a formula unit of this compound. All right, so to begin, I would start with the mass percentage and start by thinking about this as a mass out of 100 grams of the compound. So let's imagine that we had 100 grams of this mystery compound. Given the information in the problem, we can conclude that this 100 grams contains 30.45 grams of nitrogen atoms and the remainder oxygen atoms, 69.55 grams of oxygen atoms in this compound. The numbers 2 and x in the chemical formula tell us about the mole-mole ratio between nitrogen and oxygen in the compound. And so if we want to know what x is, we need to know the number of moles of oxygen atoms in this 100 grams of compound and its relation to the number of nitrogen atoms within the compound. So what we need to do from here is go to the moles of nitrogen and the moles of oxygen and the ratio between the numbers of nitrogen and oxygen atoms is going to give us insight into that X value. So let's start with the moles of nitrogen. How do we find that out? Well, we're going to divide by the molar mass of nitrogen, which is about 14 grams per mole. And this will tell us the number of moles of nitrogen atoms in the compound. And for oxygen, we're gonna do something similar. The molar mass of oxygen is essentially 16 grams per mole, and so we're going to multiply by one mole divided by 16.0 grams, and this is going to tell us the moles of oxygen atoms in the compound. When we calculate all this out, we arrive at 2.175 moles of nitrogen and 4.35 moles of oxygen in this 100 grams of the compound. Now, something we can notice by inspection or figure out by dividing by the smaller number of moles is that this corresponds to a mole-mole ratio of two oxygen atoms for every one nitrogen atom, right? 4.35 is two times 2.175. And so if in the given formula there are two nitrogens, say, in a molecule of this compound, then there must be four oxygens in that same molecule. So that the value of X here is equal to four. And in this case, it must be a molecular formula. The molecular formula of the compound is N2O4. And there you have it. So as a broad overview, we started by going from the percent composition by mass to an actual mass in grams, assuming 100 grams of compound found the corresponding moles of the elements, nitrogen and oxygen, and looked at their molar ratio, the ratio of the numbers of nitrogen and oxygen atoms to deduce the value of X in this molecular formula. 